Hi, today we are going to look at continue with a programming construct that nicely lets us chain tasks. Tasks are part of Task Parallel Library or TPL, which was introduced in .NET version 4.0 to simplify asynchronous operations in .NET C Sharp. Here, what we are going to do is write a test program to demonstrate its usage. What we'll do is first define a single task, demonstrate how that works, and then add a continue with to that task. So let's jump into it. So before we start writing this program, let's start by adding the usings required for the classes that we will be using in this example. So there are two namespaces we need to add. One, system.threading, which we'll need for thread.sleep because the thread class is in this namespace. And then you have system.threading.task, which is where the task parallel library resides. Now let's start here by first creating a task. Task is equal to task.factory.startNew. And in here, let's write some action as a lambda expression. So what we'll do in this action is say thread.sleep for three seconds, then write to console. Sorry. Task one is complete. Complete. Sorry. And here in the main program, let's wait for this task to return and then write out completed main thread. Now let's go ahead and build this program. This will take a while. Okay, so there, it's completed. Now let's go and run it with Control F5 or start without debugging. So there, so what do we see here? We see that the task was started, it wrote Task one is completed to the console after sleeping for three seconds. And the main thread only wrote out completed main thread after the task was fully completed. Now let's move on to adding continue with. Now one thing to note is, in continue with, your action will take in the parameter of the previous task that we just executed. So we'll call it task one. In this case, we are not going to do much with it. In here, we'll write another thread dot sleep. for another three seconds. And let's write console dot write line. Task two is now completed. And that's our program. So let's again build this. 
and let's run it without debugging. There you have it. So let's see how the program proceeded and what continue with did in the program. So we started by starting a new task, sleeping for three seconds, and then saying console dot write line task one is completed. Once the task one was completed, we said continue with continue with got the input of this previous task, but we didn't actually use it for any purpose. We slept for another three seconds. And then we said task 2 is completed. One thing to note is that this variable task no longer refers to the first task we ran, but it actually refers to the second one, which is returned by continue with. And so in a sense, we are waiting not on the start new task that we created here, but the continue with task that was created at this point. And therefore, when you look at the output, it makes sense. So the first output line we see is task is completed. The second one is task two is completed. And then we see completed main thread. So the task dot wait is waiting on task two to complete because that is what is returned by continue with, which is what the task variable is initialized to. So that was a very brief introduction to using continue with in task parallel library. Hope this has been useful for you.